Welcome to the umbilical vein cannulation training video. Please feel free to pause the video to study the material. Let's first start by talking about the anatomy of the umbilical cord. You'll note that there are two arteries and one larger vein, though in rare cases you will find one artery and one vein. The arteries do have thicker walls and will be harder to find in the vein should be the largest vessel with thinner walls. In this illustration, note the two arteries coming out of the umbilicus and the one large vein that goes back into the umbilicus providing blood up to the inferior vena cava for the infant to go back into systemic circulation. In the umbilical venous catheterization kit, you will find a 3.5 and 5 French umbilical catheter, a tegaderm cotton tape, a 10 cc syringe empty, a three-way stopcock, a 10 milliliter saline flush, an iodine swab, a scalpel, and a pair of hemostats. First, before performing the procedure, you must assemble your equipment. First, by attaching the stopcock to the catheter. Secondly, by attaching the saline flush to the opposite side of the stopcock. And then you will flush the entire stopcock and the catheter to push all air out of the system. This is a very important step because you do not want to induce an air embolism into an infant. This will be a very big mistake, if not fatal, to the infant if you induce an air embolism. Take notice how the paramedic clears the med port by making the med port vertical and then flushing saline out to clear all the air and then recaps the med port. Now the paramedic will use the cotton tape to tie a firm knot around the base of the umbilical cord to occlude the vessels so that when he makes the cut through the umbilical cord there is no bleeding from the umbilical cord. Now the paramedic will use the scalpel to cut the umbilical cord approximately 1 to 2 centimeters from the infant. Next, the paramedic will clean the umbilical cord and the area around the umbilical cord with a betadine swab and then attach the hemostats to the edge of the umbilical cord to help stabilize it while he inserts the catheter into the vein. The depth of insertion is approximately three to four centimeters and note on the catheter the first mark is five centimeters. Note the 5 centimeter mark and the insertion depth of 4 centimeters. To confirm proper placement, you must now turn the stopcock onto the patient, withdraw a small amount of blood, and then infuse 0.5 to 1 milliliter of saline. Also remember to turn the stopcock off to the patient when not in use. At this point, it would be appropriate to reassess the knot around your umbilical cord to secure the catheter in place. Finally, it's time to secure the catheter itself. First, you would loop it and then use your tegaderm and place it over the loop but not over the umbilical cord. Based upon the size of the infant, you can cut the tegaderm in half or even into smaller pieces if need be. Placing the tegaderm over the loop in this fashion reduces the risk of any kind of bumps or snares pulling the catheter out of the umbilicus.
Once again, please take the time to study the material and become an expert at your craft.